Hello, YouTube, and welcome to part five of Observer. It has been very fun to bring you through this playthrough. I know there hasn't been a ton of analysis. I hope that's okay with you. I assume it is if you've made it this far. Please do leave a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, watch my other playthroughs, follow the links in the description, and let's get into this guy's head. Stanley Sazic. Date of birth, January 8th. Gender A3. No match found. Status deceased 90 minutes ago. Oh, he died 90 minutes ago. Damn. In we go. Subject deceased. Neural interrogation not recommended. This better be worth it. Doing it again, huh? Okay. You little buggy, Daniel. The following announcement is brought to you by Nanophage Incorporated. Nanophage Incorporated. Occupied with the nanophage. Oh, good. This is nice. It's a little different post COVID. This is a public service announcement. We hope you die a painful death. Thank you for your attention. Join the festivities. Nano Phage Party now in progress on the second floor. This is a public service announcement. We hope you die a painful death. Thank you 
have to remain in quarantine forever. Jeez, man. Remember, everyone will be infected. It is unavoidable. Thank you for donating your wife to us. I'd like to walk in there, please. Thank you for donating your wife to us. Remember, everyone will be infected. It is unavoidable. Thank you for donating your wife to us. the hell? Is this bugged out? Thank you for donating your bike to us. Remember, everyone Whoa. will be infected. I actually think it is unavoidable. I can't like turn my mouse properly? What the hell is happening? I can't turn. Everyone will be infected. It is unavoidable. All right, I think something's up. Just gonna try this again. If it does it again, then I'm obviously missing something. Like, I feel like I'm supposed to do something with this. Like, this is supposed to somehow, like... Oh, there we go. What the hell? Yeah, I'm supposed to grab that gurney. But when I grab it, it's like... Yeah, it just did the thing again. Try it one more time. If not, I'll reload to uh <laughs> Yeah, see like there's there, yeah, there's a prompt right here.
Cable management is very poor. Oh boy. Ooh. Is this my wife? What? Got the phage. I have to turn off this fucking machine. Turn it off. It's killing you. It'll be over soon. Wait. I'm not sick. Uh, real quick, to throw my psychological two cents into this. I make the assumption that when we go into people's micro trips, we don't see reality. We see their perception of it. Um, and... I'm guessing that what we're seeing is the way in which this guy has processed the death of his wife. We don't know for sure whether his daughter said something like that to him. If she did, it may have been devastating. But my guess is that she probably did not. And he is creating a personalized narrative of fault and then is projecting that onto others such that he carries this idea that his daughter must think that he killed her. Like this is the kind of, this is like an, a concrete visual example of how people construct narratives and then spiral on them and begin to see them as reality. This is when a person's self-loathing starts to be something that colors their memories. It starts to color the way that they hold other people in their mind, such that he now holds this idea that his daughter blames him for the death of his wife, maybe because he personalized that and overly assumes responsibility for it. People do this all the time. It's my fault. If only I'd done this. If only I'd done that. When in a lot of ways, shit in life happens that you literally had no ability to influence or manipulate. No shot. But it's easier for us when we can target some sort of concrete form of accountability. And so people construct these types of narratives. And this happens in all sorts of different ways. But if we're seeing this guy's constant rehashing of the nanophage and the repeated imagery that he saw and we're seeing the way that his mind that he has constructed his memories and his conceptualization of all this stuff that happened 
rather than maybe the reality of it. There's probably bits and pieces of this that are borrowed from reality, but they're sensationalized based on his own narratives and self sense of self and perceptions and any number of things that go into the ways in which we carry certain memories. So what makes this game fascinating to me is we're getting windows into the actual ways in which people perceived their past and how they use present shit to construct what they carry with them. This is a, this is a person who does object relations therapy's wet dream because the, the, the idea behind object relations is that we don't engage with the entirety of a person. We, we don't, we, it's impossible for our brain to hold the absolute objective full reality of people, places, concepts, etc. It's always limited, they're objects. That as much as I love my wife who's sleeping in the other room right now, the version of my wife that I carry in my head is not an actual one-to-one -one reflection of the reality of my wife's existence. That I carry a certain version of my wife, an oversimplified version of my wife, one that is colored by my own needs, perceptions, experience, etc. And that I will never actually know 100% of the person that I've decided to spend my life with who's in the other room. And this is the, that's just my wife. Now imagine other people that you come across in your life. We can never hold the fullness of them in our minds. And so when we start to make assumptions about people and what they must think about us, we're doing that with incomplete data. We're doing that with our own bullshit, not because other people have necessarily said it. So everything in our mind is limited in terms of our capacity to actually hold reality. So we... It's, it's truly fascinating. Our perceptions and our memories are incomplete. You don't remember the wholeness and totality of a thing. And even if you did, you only remember your perception of it, not the objectiveness of it. And we get a little window into that in these dives into the microchips. And if you just had an existential crisis, <laughs> yeah, it's heavy stuff. The psychology of it is fascinating. We all like to believe that the uh, internal image we hold of the people that we grew up with or hang out with or whatever are full and complete and well understood. They're not. Yeah, my cats are actually a really interesting example of that, uh, Hofflin. Like, I met my cats when they were three years old. They have three years of life before they existed in my home and with me that I know nothing about. I have no idea. I don't know anything about them. And so if I was to make assumptions about them based only on what my experience with them has been, that's incomplete. Who knows why they act the way they do? And even if I knew them all the way from when they were kittens, I've never seen the entirety of who they are. So you apply that to people. The only And even we don't even know the 100% totality of ourselves because we skew our own memories. Because we like to force in certain narratives about ourselves. We look for confirmation bias on things that we've told ourselves, not on the reality of what happened. If you believe truly that you're an awful person who's a piece of shit, who doesn't care about other people, you're going to go back in your memories and apply that filter. It sucks, but it's true. And there's really no way around this. You just It's why you have to be mindful about engaging with things with curiosity and, real, and as much reality as you can instead of judgment and assumption. All right, let's keep going. Warning, warning, warning. This is an emergency announcement. This is an emergency announcement. Make the announcement. Request implant diagnostics. Avoid contact with the infected. 
Disconnect from your local network. <coughs> Nanophage outbreak imminent. <coughs> Warning, warning, warning. <coughs> Nanophage outbreak in progress. <coughs> warning, warning, warning. Stay home to minimize the risk of infection. Oh, this is okay. Look for signs of infection. Please follow quarantine procedures. This is a neat little puzzle. Return to your home. Return to your home. Request implant diagnostics. Check out this nutcase. What's he doing outside? Do not approach the infected. God damn it. <laughs> Yeah. Avoid contact with the infected. Please follow quarantine procedures. Disconnect from your local network. Okay, we're in the lobby of the complex. There you are. Thank God. You are... you are sick, Father. Mom is gone. And it's all your fault. Maybe someday I can forgive you. Maybe not. I'm leaving. Don't leave me! Goodbye, Dad. Don't leave me. I'm not sick. I am not sick. I wonder if this is what the nanophage was like inside people's here. minds. What the hell are you doing out there? Don't leave me. I am not sick. I am not sick. Don't leave me!
They can be informed of the incident and initialize grieving procedures. Yes. Synchrosine <clears throat> injected. Strain level decreased. See, and then the sad thing about all of this is that you potentially have a person who ended his own life because of what he was afraid of or because of his like own ideas rather than because of reality I mean, it would still be sad if he ended his life because of the reality of the situation but if he's blaming himself for all this stuff and skewing his own memories around it such that he decides that he's you know, better off doing everybody a favor or whatever by ending his life it's like damn man Got what I could from the hangman's head, the fear he lived in. I can barely shake it off. Can't help but feel sorry for him. Proper thing to do would be to notify his next of kin. Maybe there's some info on his computer, but I need the password. The daughter's date of birth, 16-4-64. Might as well give it a shot. 16-4-64. Dad, there's something I need you to know. Mom is dead and it's all because of you. Oh, this is what was replaying in his mind. Damn. I know this is hard, but it's the truth. You are sick, just not the way you think you are. And I can't help you. I tried, but I can't. I'm leaving. Maybe someday I can forgive you. I don't know. I hope so. But for now, I just can't do it anymore. Goodbye. Wow, so maybe he did. Maybe the nanophage did take him away. Who knows, man? This message could not be delivered to one or more recipients. Dear Anna, you were right to leave. I was already infected. No way you could have helped me. I'm just glad you got out when you did. I know there's no helping me now. I just hope you understand. I hope you find it in your heart to forgive me. I love you. Yeah. And it never made it to her. Miss Tazik, by the time you receive this message, the lockdown in your father's apartment building will have already been lifted. KPD have likely contacted you already to inform you of your father's passing. As someone who witnessed your father's last moments, I offer you my deepest sympathies. Console the daughter or tell the hard truth. I don't want to make any assumptions about her relationship, so. I also think you should know that your father took his own life, possibly out of guilt for the part he played in your mother's untimely death. Either that, or he simply panicked when his apartment building was put under epidemic lockdown. I wish I could offer you a better, kinder version of events, something that would exonerate your father and bring you some peace of mind. But I think you deserve the truth, no matter how ugly. I agree with that. Daniel Lazarski, Krakow Police Department. It is not Daniel's responsibility to withhold information from her. Sometimes people will stray away from the truth or from giving their actual account of what they saw or what happened because they're worried about upsetting somebody. At the end of the day, if receiving the truth about what happened, or at least my account of it, is upsetting to her, I would much rather she be upset 
because she knows rather than potentially upset at some point because she didn't get the whole answer about something because it was withheld from her out of some sense that we needed to protect her from herself. It's hard to deliver hard information like that sometimes, but I think that's the better direction. The daughter should get the message once the lockdown's lifted. Still not sure if I handled it the right way. Story of my life, I guess. Either way, marking the apartment for KPD. Notice the basement can turn things locked. Maybe I should check it. Damn. Heavy. Heavy stuff, man. Uh, I'm gonna stand out in the rain for a second. I'm gonna use, I gotta pee really quick. I'll be right back. God, imagine your neighbors having that. KPD, I need to talk to you. Shit, are you for real, man? Since when do you pigs give a shit about what goes down in the stacks? Since now, should I take a special interest in you? Hey, man, chill. It's just most cops don't have the balls to come down here alone. What you need? Ain't anything suspicious lately? Man, ain't nothing here that ain't fucking suspicious. Any outsiders come through here since the lockdown? Hey, I ain't seen no one, but that don't mean they didn't. You know what I'm saying? Fair enough. I am forgetting which unit. Oh shit. And so here we are, 
closer than ever before. Like two halves that could never really fit together. You didn't say it. You didn't show it. How could you? You couldn't speak. You couldn't move. But as I sat there watching, I knew, as I know now, you want me. Shit, it might already be too late. Looks like the guy made his move. Whoever his victim is, they're likely already at his place. Need to find it. I should look for anything suspicious, anything that sticks out. Side note, the messages mention some numbers. 3092. A code of some sorts, maybe? Can we not play spiders? We can, I just don't want to waste time with it. I don't love that. Unit of 28. Apartment 205. Okay. 205. So interesting to me that I hear that when I'm in here. Alright, 205. Where the hell is 205? Freaking labyrinth. Heavenly comfort for the whole family. Capsule apartments. Yes, heavenly comfort, I'm sure. Alright, cool. Thank you, pigeons. This 
looks like a fun place. I'm sure everything's totally fine. Oh yeah, totally everything's fine in there. Owner of the noisy basement compartment is at 205 second floor. I just might pay him a visit. Well, here we are. Good. Good. This is great. Nothing, nothing spooky scary about this. Nothing spooky scary at all. Good. Goody. Mmm. What a delicious kitchen. Anybody want some liver? That looks like a human liver. I don't like that. I don't love this. Maximum calories. Unobtrusive taste. Can't wait to see what's in here. Pork. OSHA will not be pleased. Hopefully he doesn't come home. Good. Jeffrey, you've gotten very sloppy with your uh, hiding of what you do here. Whoa, baby. Uh, Zine, hi. Thank you for the raid. Uh, those of you coming along with Zine, I give you a forewarning. We were playing Observer, which is a pretty unsettling game. Lots of flashing lights, some jump scares, stuff like that. Uh, very mature themes. Just a heads up in case you need to take care of yourselves. We are currently in a very creepy apartment of a guy who's got a very loud pig or something down in the basement. And, uh... If you'd like a tour of my new apartment that I just purchased from him, I, I, I'll give you the grand tour really quick. Uh, we have the entrance. I'm waiting on somebody to come fix this pesky gate. Uh, this is the bathroom, master bathroom. Uh, it's got a... I got an extra door. Um, I, I painted the floors a bit. Tub's got great integrity. Holds plenty of liquid. Uh, no sagging in the floor. We got good structural integrity. Nice climate control in here. Sink as well. Excellent. Uh, if you come into my uh, my entryway, we got a nice coat rack here. A very comfortable single layer mattress. Uh, don't mind the pants. Uh, I usually take them off when I go to bed. Uh, some nice shelving here. Got my hookah, of course. Uh, very, very nice, spacious, high ceilings for drying out my my shirts. And uh, if you if you come with me into the kitchen, this is where the magic happens. This is where the magic happens. I've got a lovely setup here with tables, uh, a, a refrigerator that was replaced only about four years ago, so still holds all the materials you could ever want. A beautiful gas stove. Uh, with uh, the ovens, I, you know, I need a little extra power, so I don't need the oven so much as I need the stove. It smells great in here, doesn't it? Uh, I've been I've been told that this is nice and and rustic, 
I was really looking for something that was a slightly more open concept. Uh, the only open concept here is going to be the cabinets, you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, we have a liver is going to be on the for dinner. Plenty of room to, to cook that up. Nice chopping. This all came with the apartment. It's very nice. Uh, and then this is my living quarters. You'll notice there's no windows. Uh, I don't really like the idea of knowing what time of day it is. I prefer artificial lighting so that I'm productive at all times. This is my wine cellar that's been converted to cable management central. Uh, Zine, I learned my cable management from you, so thank you very much. Uh, another fridge in here for extra safekeeping, a nice aquarium where I can keep my stuff. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm into leather working, as you perhaps could deduce from seeing what's on my wall. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go into the into the computer, of the previous owner, and see what's going on here. Thanks for the raid, bud. I appreciate it immensely. Okay. <clears throat> Mail that thing. That thing we talked about, is it ready? Don't give me any of this when it's done, or they don't grow on trees crap. It's not your life on the line. My acquaintances spoke very highly of you, but I have to say that so far, I'm not impressed. Let me kindly remind you that you're only getting paid if there's anyone still around to pay you. R.E. Thank you. Doctor, you have no idea how grateful I am, truly. If it wasn't for you, my boy wouldn't be walking today. I don't know if he would be alive. So just so you know, you're making a difference. You have my eternal gratitude. Sincerely, Martha. I told you to never write me once we've concluded our business. And don't use your public account, for God's sake. I'm glad you're satisfied with my product. Don't delete this message and never contact me again. There are others who depend on my services, so show some goddamn consideration. Yes, of course. I'm so sorry. I just, I got a little carried away. It's not the bladder, it's the liver. S sorry, my bad, Rich. Wait, dude, don't... What do you mean you're sorry? This isn't a car dealership. You can't just change your mind. Jesus. Go get your fucking liver, but you're paying for both. I'll get back with you on a date. Dude, don't sweat it. I know how this works. It's all good. Where's my skin? We had a deal. Where the hell's my skin? I can't go around looking like this. I told you, I'll have the funds transferred by the end of the month. If I need the graft now, my career depends on it. Please, I'm begging you. BBC. So, I'd like it to be black, obviously. About 12 inches sounds about right. Don't know about the girth, though. Some say that's also important. What do you think, LMX? This is not a salad bar. You don't get to pick and choose. What I grow is what you get. And yes, girth does matter. Fair enough, dude. Chill. Just make sure it works. Tamara, I know you've been waiting for a long time. But you will have to wait just a little bit longer. I've had some complications during transport and the product got damaged. I'm arranging for a replacement, but it will take some time. Please be patient. Sorry for the inconvenience. What do you mean complications? I don't understand. You said you'd have my you said you'd have the heart by now. What am I supposed to do? Please don't do this to me. Tamara. Got your email from our mutual friend. I heard good things about you. So here's the deal. I need a heart ASAP. I know you're going price is 15K. I'll pay you 150K. Yes, you read that right. Just get the heart now. I don't know what you have to do and I don't want to know. I just need the heart. A little girl's life depends on it. Hope to hear from you soon. I think we can do business. I need the patient's medical files. Then I'll make the arrangements. Our mutual acquaintance vouched for you. So I know payment is not going to be an issue. You know the account number. That is extremely good news. I've had the file sent to you via an encrypted transfer. I'll be waiting to hear from you. Just don't make me wait too long. So is this guy growing human organs in a lab? Search query. Pressure source treatment. About 843,000 results showing six. Pressure sores. A medical overview. Pressure sores are caused by pressure applied to soft tissue resulting in the obstruction of blood flow. The condition occurs mostly the condition occurs mostly patients leading a sedentary lifestyle or suffering from paralysis if left undetended. Pressure sores, bed sores, treatment. The first step of the treatment should be to remove any necrotic tissue. This is crucial as these areas are prone to bacterial growth which in turn can compromise the healing process. Maggot debridement therapy it is. 
or is, oh God. Caring for pressure sores. Untreated pressure sores can lead to other ailments, such as bone infections, sepsis, or even gangrene. In some cases, complications from pressure ulcers can be life-threatening. In order to, how to avoid pressure sores. Patients suffering from pressure sores need to be repositioned regularly in order to restore proper circulation. Should the symptoms persist, apply foam dressing and a disinfectant to avoid bed sores, basic treatment solutions. In the case of patients with fully functioning immune systems, surgical debridement is usually not necessary. It is, however, the quickest way to remove dead tissue and allow for wounds to pressure ulcers in post-op rehabilitation. During their convalescence period, post-operative patients are likely to develop some degree of pressure sores if their condition prohibits the regular changing of position. While stage one and two ulcers are mostly, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Look, man, I'm just trying to tell you to keep your dog quiet. All right, something tells me somebody's about to show up and say hi. Maybe. obviously something I'm supposed to do in here. Maybe I need to scan. Human liver, mild ulceration detected. Human skin, mild inflammation detected. Biomass, water, fat, protein, collagen, hydrozalapatite. Traces of human DNA detected, multiple genetic defects detected. What have we here? Oh gosh. Guy in 205 is clearly involved in some shady dealings. Found a code 7441, likely to his basement compartment. Okay. Let's go back down there. Because we had so much fun when we went down there. Uh oh. Hey, like I was never even here. I have such a good history with laundry machines. Gosh. Isn't this just such a fun place to be? Aren't you all just enjoying yourselves? I hope you are. I'm enjoying playing this for you. As unsettling as it is.
right, 7441. Everything is fine. Layers of fear. Is that the name of a video? Oh boy. Oh no. Oh boy, oh boy. That is not what I would have ever imagined that was going to be. Chemical monitoring status, error, critical error. Oh my God. Subhuman life form. Sus domesticus, 320 kilograms. Endangered species proceed with caution. Heart rate unstable, extreme mental distress. Oh my God. If I reboot, the sedation program should resume. Or I could unplug it. Put it out of its misery. What the hell? I wanted to pull the plug. I didn't want to, like, make this keep going. No! Why wouldn't it let me pull the plug? No, that's not what I wanted to do. Pull the plug, Dan. Oh, here we go. Unplug life support system. Okay. Oh, thank God. Sorry, buddy. You had a shitty life. At least you got some morphine and a last look at the prairie before you died.
All right, well, I'm glad that's done. That was awful. Locate the madman's apartment. Uh... Look for anything suspicious, anything that sticks out. Everything here is suspicious. I'm trying to think of like where I've seen a code on a door that I couldn't open. Three zero nine two. Let's try this. No, nope. it's not apartment thirty seven. I thought it might have been this one because this is the girl that was like, well, maybe she was hallucinating. I don't know. Yeah, Madman's apartment, 3092, which is what I put in here, so. Not it. Madman's apartment. Now, if I was a madman, which apartment would I live in? This is the real question. I am curious to see what the third floor is like, if we can even get up there, which it does not appear that we can. It's not from this staircase. So. Carnus's place was genetic structure. Synchrosine collected. This is a relatively clean place compared to a lot of the other ones. We're in the lap of luxury right now. Synchrosine refilled. Oh. Oh boy. Okay. Well, Okay. 
<laughs> As I every time we play games like this, I always think to myself, somebody had to make all of this art. And it's so cool that somebody did, and so many people walked right past it. This is so neat. The classy place. Even the swirl marks on the mirror, it's great, man. So many nice touches on this. Something tells me that something wild and crazy is going to happen when I pull that plug. And we're going to find out what that is in part six. <sighs> Thank you very much for taking the time to make it through this episode with me. I am very tired and I don't want to start something that's going to last a very long time. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, without knowing what's coming, I'm going to play it safe here and leave you on a cliffhanger. So, uh, thank you. For indulging this playthrough I am grateful for it I know it's a little bit different than what you're used to so if you've made it this far I'm, I'm grateful for the support I'm loving every second of this it's so enjoyable so um, who knows where this is going if you are waiting for the next episode to come out I'll get it out as soon as I can if you're binging I'll see you over on the next one thank you very much for all of your support leave a thumbs up leave a comment follow the links down below you matter and I'll see you on the next one in this fancy dancy office slash bedroom